Hello, my name's Jonathan Peacock and I'm researching an exhibition for the Bowes Museum to celebrate John Joseph Merlin. Matthew Reed has already mentioned him as the probable maker of the mechanism in our famous Silver Swan. But I'd like to tell you more about this fabulously inventive man. John Joseph Merlin was born in 1735 in Liège in the Low Countries, which we now call Belgium. And he trained there as a clockmaker before moving to Paris. In 1760, the Spanish ambassador scooped him up from there and brought him to London. Why? Was it a sort of spying mission? To try and learn the secrets of John Harrison's portable clocks. These were solving the longitude problem. And that, of course, was of interest to all the nations of the world. Once in London, John Joseph Merlin stayed here, making a myriad of new inventions and becoming a well-known and popular celebrity. One of his first commissions was to complete an elaborate barrel organ for the Princess of Wales, the sort of job that would certainly look good on anybody's CV. In 1765, he joined the workshop of James Cox, many of whose 120 craftsmen were making automata, clocks and decorative objects for the East India Company. These were of course perfect gifts for the Emperor of China and the like. It was now that as well as perfecting the swan, John Joseph Merlin also made a perpetual clock with Samuel Rehi, an expert maker of barometers. It is a beautiful, very tall, glass encased clock powered by changes in atmospheric pressure. So clever, and we hope to borrow it for our museum. In 1773, after eight years of working for James Cox, Merlin finally set up on his own as an inventor and craftsman. This was the start of a rich vein of achievements about which I will tell you in our next chat. Thank you.